Hello Capricorn. You're looking at this situation as if, you know, you, you're taking it upon yourself to rectify or to fix the mistakes that they did, or at least to call them out on it and at least to find a resolution. So just um, be very careful about getting caught up in other people's um, life lessons, okay? Maybe for their life lesson, it is to, you know, do things in a more high-minded, in a more uh, fair manner, okay? So you're trying to jump in and you are trying to fix a situation on their behalf and I do feel that that's not in your best interest, okay? At this present in time, the advice here is to, adv to just... Um, don't take it upon yourself to fix other people's mistakes. Do what you have to do to take care of yourself, your own work, and whatever it is that you're trying to do, okay? So um, if you were to be too caught up in other people's life lessons, they're not going to learn that lesson. If you, you were to fix the mistakes, you're enabling their behavior to continue, which is not conducive for you know any type of a lesson learning uh, energy. So do what you need to do. Take care of your assets and your own responsibilities from your end. Leave the situation alone, okay? I do feel that um, many of you are not going to leave the situation alone, and you might engage with another person in conflict, um, signified by the Five of Rods. The Five of Rods and the Five of Swords both indicating um, there is a situation in which communication has to happen, and the communication is very passionate, okay? This is a communication exchange is happening between different entities, different people, people of opposing energies, and also different elements than you. So the conversation can be heated, and they're pretty much engaging in this conflict amongst themselves. So the best advice here is to take a step back and don't get involved, okay? I also feel as if there is... Um, yes, yeah, just don't get in engaged in that conflict. Don't get involved in whatever it is that people are trying to bicker amongst themselves about. And at the same time, we are ending this first row with the Five of Swords, which indicates to me that um, you have always been the person to clean up other people's mess, okay? A lot of earth signs in general are stuck with the responsibilities of cleaning up other people's mess. So in the aftermath of this battle, you're left behind picking up all the swords, okay? You're the only one that is learning the, mis uh, the, the lessons from this, you know, this um, throughout this battle. And I do feel that you are dealing with younger vibrational energies. Despite other people's biological age, I do feel that you're, it's a lesson learned from your end of what not to do when you pursue your career path in the future, okay? So it's um, think of this as a lesson for you as to what not to do. And what you need to learn is that you have to detach yourself from the situation. You have to be, um, you know... Emotionally, you need to detach yourself from the outcome. When it comes to other people's life lessons, when it comes to other people's battles and conflict, let it play out in the way it's supposed to. And you can be there to soothe the pain at the very end of it, but that's the only way people are going to learn. If you interfere and you try to help them, it's an enabling behavior, and that's not something that you want to do long term. You don't want to be the crutch in other people's um, life, okay? So keep that in mind. I do sense as well in a work situation, a lot of you are going to be seeking new work or you're leaving old work situations behind and you're looking for calmer work environment, less hostility in your work environment and with people who are more cooperative, okay? So it is a, a swift transition happening for you from the beginning of the month. I do feel you sailing away to a better work environment by the end of this month. I also sense as well with the Five of Cups, you know, in the upright position, it might have been a regrettable situation. In the reverse, you're happily sailing away from this and you're going to be okay. I do feel as well on the heels of this um, overcoming the regret and the pain and disappointment associated with existing or past work situation, you have the world, which indicates a lot of expansion opportunities are coming through for you. For those of you who have been, you know, financially like... um you might have been worried about your financial situation. Things are definitely looking up for you on the financial front. 
job opportunities are opening up for you as well as new opportunities in general to engage with more like-minded people to engage with situations and with work circumstances that are more conducive for your life path okay so whatever the career path that you've set for yourself I do feel that you are going to meet mentors I do sense a mentor coming through and at least you are going to meet people who will provide you with advice and direction in order to pursue or to push your life path in the trajectory that you want. So these two cards appearing next to one another is very, very favorable. I believe I mentioned for one of, I, I believe it was the mid-month reading that is really important for you. Like the next two years in your life, Capricorns, are going to be very, very important because they are defining years in terms of forging a path for yourself and planning out the next two years what you want your life to look like, okay? So opportunities are coming through and you are going to have to grab life and grab, seize those opportunities that you feel are more favorable for you in the long run based on the guidelines or the um, based on the game plan that you've made for yourself. So at this point, it's an important month to redefine what it is that you want to seek, that you want to pursue on the career front and making them happen for yourself, okay? So the next two years, 2016, 2017 as well, and I'm calculating two years from August 2015 to August 2017. Those are going to be instrumental, very, very important time in the direction of your career, okay? We're not talking, you know, random jobs. We're talking a career path being forged here. So these are very, very powerful, potent energies and very good energies opening up for you as to meeting the right people, being in the right place at the right time, to be at the exact moment where that career opportunity opens up and you're like the first in line to grab those opportunities. So a lot of expansions are coming up through for you in the ability to network and to be in the right place at the right time. Some people call it luck. Some people call it, you know, just um, divine interference. But what I do sense is it's a sense of personal responsibility that you've cultivated over many, many, many years. And now you're getting, you know, payback it's uh, the universe is allowing these opportunities to happen for you i don't feel it's sheer luck with virgo it might be sheer luck because you know they have that jupiter transit but with you these are years and years of hard work and dedication uh, in the making and um, you've had to clean up people's mess you were always, you know, the responsible one and the voice of reason and as a result you are being rewarded with um you are being rewarded with um, being in the right place at the right time in order to grab new opportunities as they come, they're hot off the press. And you're able to be there at that exact moment where these opportunities are just, you know, um, breaking through the ground. Okay, so it's, it's, very, it's a very nice, um, tremendously fortuitous month coming through for you here. A lot of you might be contemplating moving from one physical location to another. I do feel travel as well is indicated here. Um, I don't sense travel delays, but I do feel time constraints, once again for you, okay? There's a lot of responsibilities that need to be um, taken care of for this month. And I do feel here we have the Ten of Rods, which is, you know, um, don't procrastinate for this month, but at the same time, you have to, time management is going to be required of you. I do feel that um, for the first half of this month, the first two weeks, you're going to be caught up in other people's problems. They're the ones bringing a lot of uh, problems and nuisance. They're a nuisance in your life, okay? So minimize contact and try to figure out what it is that you want to do because in a situation where you're surrounded by a lot of people and um, I do feel where you might want to be the mediator, I do feel that it's going to be in your best interest to detach yourself and don't personally get yourself embroiled in other people's conflict, okay? So that's something that you want to be wary of. Reserve the, the frame of the peace of mind for yourself and take care of your own responsibilities. I know you want to help, but in some situations, it is best to leave the other person to their own devices so that they can learn the lesson for themselves 
And it seems to me as if you have a lot on your plate that you really need to take care of. So if you're caught up in other people's problems, you're not able to take care of your own obligations, okay? And you might end up scrambling with poor time management towards the end of this month. And I do feel that um, if you, those of you who are planning a trip, be very, very careful about... Um, not forgetting things, okay? I do feel that is notorious here with the star. Um, I don't feel travel delays. I don't feel, I don't feel, you know, major, major problems associated with it. But I do feel for those of you who are taking a trip somewhere, um, the trip is not going to be as relaxing as you'd hope, okay? There might be conflict that erupts, um, Wherever it is that you're you're traveling, whoever it is that you're traveling to see, there might be a little bit of a low vibrational energy emanating as a result of this trip. So you're not going to have like you know one of those relaxing vacation by the beach, sipping mimosas. I, I don't feel that um, you're going to be free from worries and anxiety. There's still things that you need to do. I do feel as well there's an element of a busy energy. It's not like um, kinetic, so I do sense that everything is like hitting you all at once. It's not like, a, you know, things building up over time. It's just last minute things that needed to be taken care of and you didn't anticipate them. So you have to sort them out at the end. So I do feel an element of, you know, taking your work home for most of the weekends where you're not really able to socialize, which is not fun, okay? So don't take it upon yourself to fix other people's mistakes. Don't take it upon yourself to get involved in their own situations that they need to be taking care of in their own time, okay, in their own way. So don't get caught up in other people's uh, mistakes and life lessons here. I also feel as well a lot of you might be taking work on your trip, okay. Um, try to take some time off and really enjoy your vacation because I do feel that you're you're doing a little bit too much to accommodate other people, okay? So if you have to take a trip, and if a trip is not like um, a leisurely trip, if you have to do it, you know, out of a sense of obligation to visit somebody because they visited you, just stop it. I, I do sense that, you know, you, you want to take a trip and you want it to be relaxing, okay? So don't do things out of obligation because you're going to end up feeling quite dissatisfied and... Um, you're, you're too busy to really enjoy or appreciate the time together with whoever it is that you're traveling to see. Towards the end of the month, we have a King of Cups character coming through. So I do feel that um, for a lot of you, you might be involved here in a romantic set setting with a water sign, okay? And I want you to be careful about this water sign. Um, I do feel there is a very, very strong emotional rapport. And it can be a male or female depending on, you know, your romantic inclination and your sexual orientation. It can be a male or female of a water element, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do sense in the past if you are involved with this person, I do feel that you've had to walk away or the other person had to walk away. And there was very little closure, okay? And I also want to warn you against this person, mainly because um, what's showing up here is somebody who is who's emerging from a dark past, okay? Who's emerging from like um, a dark tunnel? They're they're walking through it, and they're they've learned, they've graduated from possibly being a page or a knight to being, you know, a king in this present moment or at least for this month so they've been through a lot and they're also looking back at their past situation and they've overcome a lot in their life so I do feel that this is a stable person in your life coming through and it has potential for progression okay so I do sense it is very very favorable here for those of you who are involved with a, a, an earth sign if you are involved with an earth sign, I do feel some imbalances in the relationship. I do sense that. Um, I do feel as well that you're putting in a lot of the work in the relationship. So the earth signs are, you know, fellow Capricorn, Virgo, and um, Taurus, okay? So if you are involved with an earth sign, I do feel that deep down, the relationship itself is emotionally rewarding. However, there are imbalances here, and it's really hard to... Um, I do feel that for a lot of you, you might put in a lot of the work and you might end up feeling unappreciated by your partner, 
Okay, so those of you involved with earth signs. And I do sense that you have high hopes for the future. However, there are troublesome energies that might... Um, that might mess up the harmony within the relationship. There might be some bickering. There might be arguments coming through. The other person could possibly be in a moody, uh, be a little bit moody, so they're not operating at their best, which might feel as if the relationship is very destabilizing, okay, for this month. If you are able to navigate through it, I do feel that you're going to come up on top in the relationship. There is at least going to be reconciliation and there is going to be that sense of appreciation coming through from your partner. So you're shouldering a lot of the weight in relationships as well. For those who are, you know, coupled especially. I do feel for singles, um... I do sense as well the five of rods, ten of rods. There are definitely a lot of people vying for your attention, okay? As to the datable datability of these people, it's a it's a little bit questionable because I do feel that um, you're quite selective about who it is that you want to date, okay? You let people into your sphere and you actually, you know, you you're very open minded when it comes to um, who you associate with and you know you you are you overlook a lot of flaws in people and there's nothing wrong with that you approach people on a human level and you accept the fact that you know we're all humans we all have our flaws so you are very very open-minded and high-minded when it comes to other people just be very careful about who it is that you allow into your life because I do feel that um, a lot of the people in your midst who are showing interest are not entirely good for you. So you want to allow the good ones in, and you also don't want to be somebody's teacher, okay? When you approach a relationship, think of it as approaching on equal footing, okay? Both parties have enough to offer one another. Both parties are, like, complete as, um, you know, as individuals, so that you both can grow together. In this situation, I do feel that somebody is of a lower vibrational energy, so for those who are, you know, single and, and mingling and trying to date, I do feel that um, for the first two weeks, actually, you might not be able to land that perfect person. Towards the end of the month, you might end up with a, you might go through the whole screening process. And you might end up with, you know, a water sign that is very, very favorable in terms of a romantic prospect, okay? This can be their sun, moon, or rising. But I do feel this per person is emotionally nurturing. And they see the work that you're putting into relationships in general. They see your dedication. And they see how strong of a person that you are. And they're kind of telling you, you know, they're giving you advice. This is a card of counsel. But um, not in a, um, not in a, you know, like a, not in an official way. This is like somebody giving you very, very smart advice over like a cup of coffee. It could be like in a very friendly environment. It's not like, you know, legal counsel or medical counsel where it's like, you know, the king of swords. This is mainly like um, life counsel, a mentor coming through for you where, you know, they're telling you that um, you don't have to work so hard. You know, it's okay for you to relax once in a while. And by uh, working so hard, you're kind of blocking yourself from opportunities. So it's sort of like, if you look at these cards in next to one another, you're so caught up with like uh, practical responsibilities. Your face is buried in work, and you're not able to see this person um, crossing your path. Okay, so be very careful about uh, making the time out to date. So for those of you who are you know dating and who are not having much success, and who find them you know if you find yourself incredibly busy or incredibly bogged down with responsibility, think about think about these responsibilities and think about you know how much of them are you know real responsibilities that you have to take care of in a certain time frame how much of it is caused by other people where you're like fixing other people's mistakes and you're doing things for other people reserve some time some energy for yourself because i do feel you need a break okay so it's a very very like cumbersome type of energy i'm sensing for this month it can be romantic as well and I do feel for a lot of you you might meet a water sign that can rejuvenate you that can you know lighten your load if you let them 
in terms of singles dating, there are many, many romantic prospects. And I do feel you are going to go through the phase where you're narrowing down possibly two signs, an early, a keeper right here. And this is somebody that you want to engage with and allow into your life, okay? So Capricorns, I hope the um, September looks up for you. I do feel that for the first two months, uh, two weeks, excuse me, be very patient. And then for the last two weeks, I do feel a lot more romance, a lot more freedom of expression, creativity coming through for you as well, okay? So the main lesson here is pick your battles and don't get caught up in other people's life lessons. Try to disengage from conflict and um, detach yourself from toxic people. This is just general life advice for everybody. But I do feel for this month, you really have to know you really have to know um, what it is that you want to do and plan your life out for the next two years, okay? 